Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the usage of an Arduino kit, an ultrasonic sensor, and a servo to represent the systems that are present in motion detection in many common stores such as Walmart, Ingalls, Publix, etc. Essentially, this system is going to be replicating the sliding doors at the openings of all of these stores. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the coding that I have input into my Arduino kit that I have sitting here beside me and showing you the Arduino in action with that coding applied. So, moving forward, let's go ahead and get started. So, as we can see right here, I have the code that I have input into my Arduino to help replicate this sliding door system. So just to kind of explain what every part of this code does, I'll go through this from top to bottom. So right here, I have the include servo h is going to be a database that is going to be pulled from for the web. I have a couple of integers set up just to handle some of the calculations, and I have a servo specifically set up here. This long read ultrasonic distance command that we have sitting right here is going to basically handle everything that is done with the ultrasonic sensor included in the system. Essentially, this ultrasonic sensor is going to send out frequency of, say, about 40,000 hertz that will then bounce off an object and then declare whether or not how far that object is from the sensor itself. In other words, you can use this for motion detection so that if there is something within, say, three, four feet of the sensor, then it will send a positive output to whatever the rest of the system would be. In the case of this, I have it set up to a servo so that whenever something is set up between whatever distance it needs to be, the servo will be activated and spin 180 degrees. So, next here we have the void setup, which is just going to basically be essentially what is happening with the servo. We have the void loop at the moment though, that's going to be a bit more important, especially if we're doing anything collecting data. So this first segment here is going to be what we can use to collect data. And this will be telling us exactly how far away from the sensor any object is. Now this data can be found just by clicking on the serial monitor up here, but I do not currently have the Arduino hooked up so that's not going to be at the moment functional. Now below that is going to be this if statement. And the if statement is going to basically say that if an object is within 10 inches of the ultrasonic sensor that I have set on this table next to me, then the servo is going to automatically write to whatever degree that I have it set to, which at the moment is going to be 180 degrees. Now, if it's not less than 10 inches, then that's where the else statement comes in, and that means that essentially it's going to be set to low, where there is no longer any power being sent to the servo. So, Effectively, with the code that I have here put together, whenever something enters the 10-inch range with this ultrasonic sensor, it will trigger the servo to automatically move a total, I guess, round space of about 180 degrees. And then when that item leaves, then it will automatically go back to zero degrees. Because of the way that the code is set up, it will just kind of automatically go back between zero and 180. But that is the nature of this work, and I guess I shall move into the live display of the item working. So now we'll be moving into the live demonstration portion of this video, where I will be showing you my Arduino, all of the connections that have been made, the ultrasonic sensor and the servo, as well as showing you how the system itself would work in action. So, as you can see right here I have my Arduino Uno and I have the connection set up over to the breadboard which connect the ultrasonic sensor to the servo and the servo back to the Arduino Uno. I have this space of about roughly 11 inches between the ultrasonic sensor and the box of supplies that I set roughly about 11 inches away. Now to give a proper demonstration of this being used, I can use my hand just as an example to show whenever an item ends up within the 10 inch margin. So as you can see my hand right about here is going to go in front of the servo. And you can see that the servo now is turning 180 degrees for two seconds and then stopping and going back to zero. Now whenever I remove my hand once again 
you can see that the servo automatically stopped. But once it's placed back again, the servo continues to go from 0 to 180. Now this is a good replication of the systems that are used in automatic sliding doors over at stores like Walmart and Ingles. Now the only thing that could possibly be changed to make that more of an accurate scenario replication would be for the servo to automatically stay at 180 until such time as the object is removed from the space. But anyways, hopefully that you have found this video to be rather interesting and of course feel free to stick around and look around the rest of my portfolio on the WCU webpage.